Okay, welcome to this presentation on meiosis. Meiosis is a type of cell division. In humans, meiosis only happens in the reproductive organs. In the female reproductive system, that's the ovary, and in the male, that's the testes. So you'll only find meiosis happening in those organs. The key facts you must remember for meiosis. Meiosis produces four daughter cells that are non-identical. So we see this parent cell, it's gonna split. It actually has two divisions, which we'll see later, into four daughter cells. Notice the amount of chromosomes they have. These cells only have two chromosomes, half the original parent. We say these are haploid cells as they have half the chromosomes of the parent cell. The parent cell is a diploid cell. It has the correct amount. Meiosis produces haploid cells, gametes, like eggs and sperm, or pollen and ovules. All of these are haploid. So all gametes are haploid cells. Meiosis actually has two cell divisions to get the four daughter cells. The first cell division, well, before meiosis, the chromosomes double, as you can see here, they form X shapes. Now they undergo meiosis. And in the first cell division, it divides into two cells. The X shapes move into two different ends of the cell and are pulled apart into two cells. In the second cell division, the X shapes are torn apart and we end up with four haploid daughter cells. So unlike mitosis, meiosis has two separate cell divisions, first to two cells, then to four cells. I also need to stress that it's before meiosis that the chromosomes or the genetic material doubles. Now, an important thing is you will have to be able to compare mitosis and meiosis. So for mitosis, it happens in your toesies. Well, what do we mean by that? That's a bit stupid, but it happens in any part of your body, including your toes. It happens everywhere and it's for growth and repair. It also happens in some plants and some organisms in asexual reproduction. The main three points, it makes two daughter cells, they're both diploid, and they're genetically identical. Let's look at meiosis. Meiosis only happens in the gametes. So we can remember that by thinking of the E in the word meiosis and the S as eggs and sperm. Meiosis only occurs in sex organs to produce gametes. It makes four daughter cells compared to two. It makes haploid cells compared to diploid, and they're not genetically identical. Okay, let's hit the exam practice. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, let's check your answers. So when the answers come up, pause the video, check your answers, and mark how many you got right. So how did you do? Let's have another go at this one. Pause the video. Okay, let's go through the answers. Check off how many you got right. Let's get to the next exam question. Pause the video. Now check your answers using the mark scheme. Feel free to watch this video again and make sure you can really nail meiosis and mitosis. Here's the last exam question. Pause the video. Okay, how did you do? That's meiosis and mitosis. Let's get to the marks.